Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So today we are going to discuss a, li uh, a little bit further about particular integrals. As of now we have discussed so far that how we can solve a homogeneous linear partial differential equations having trigonometric function, having exponential function. Now it's time to, some, uh, to know about the powers means algebraic function, powers of x and y. Okay, let's begin. Here's a question that this is cubic partial differential equation and you need to find out, uh, you have to solve this. Okay, then how you can solve it? First of all, make symbolic form. You know how to make it. So this is d cube minus 2 because x is differentiating twice, differentiated twice. So d square y is 1, so d dash. It is the function of z. So this is your symbolic form. All right. Thereafter, you need to find out the auxiliary equation. So m cube minus 2m square equals 0, right? Because d dash is 1 and d is m. If you solve it, you can take m square common. What is left? So from here, because this is cubic, so you will get 3 roots. m as 0, 0 and 2. So what will be your complementary factor? Because 2 real roots and 1 distinct. So for real, the formula is f1 y plus x, x is 0, x, f2, y plus x again, then f3, y plus x, okay, it is distinct, so we are not applying any of the variable, okay, then after for particular integral, this is the main part, as we do usually, 1 upon the symbolic form d cube minus 2d square d dash and your right hand side which is in the form of x and y. Now from here on you need to apply binomial expansion. Okay, how? Let me tell you. First of all take common the highest order derivative. So highest order is d cube. What is left? 1 minus. See to take d cube common can I multiply it with d and divide it with d? Okay. Then d cube you can take common and d is left in denominator, right? So 2d dash by d. Okay, now what you need to do, simply remember you have to take this denominator form into numerator. 1 minus 2d dash by d raised to power minus 1. And your 1 by d cube is still there. Now for binomial expansion of 1 minus b raised to power minus n or minus 1, the formula is 1 plus b plus b square plus b cube plus b raised to power 4 and so on. So similarly, you will get here 1 plus 2d dash by d plus square of this. So 4d dash square by d square and so on, right? Now, and 3x square y is still there, right? Thereafter, what we need to do, you can see, just simply multiply. And you know that your d dash is differentiation with respect to y, right? Now, if you see, let me do it here, 0, 0, 2. So, your particular integral is 1 by d cube 3x square y plus, you can see, 2 differentiation with respect to y. 2 by d is still there. If you take, because you know d dash is what? Partial differentiation with respect to y. And you are multiplying it with 3x square y, right? So, partially differentiated, y will be removed, what you will get? 2 times 3 is 6, x square, correct? Now, you have got this, if you again partially differentiate this, there is no y, 
So there is no Y, you cannot differentiate it uh, with respect to Y partially. I mean, you will get 0, right? So all further bits will be 0. This is what you have got so far. So 3x square Y and multiplication of this. Now remember, because your D is partial differentiation. So 1 by D will be antiderivative, right? For antiderivative, what is uh, the term we call? Integrals, right? So 1 by D is 1 time integration, 1 by D cube is 3 times triple integrals. So let's, let me write complementary factor here so that I can erase it. So now, what is this? You can distribute it, but before that, solve the bracket. If you take integration of x square, because 1 by d is integral, right? Antiderivative. So, integrate with respect to x. What will you get? x cubed by 3, right? So, 3 times 2 is 6. Now, this means triple integral of 3x square y and x cube, 2x cube. And you are doing it with respect to x. Why? Because your d operator is for partial differentiation with respect to x, right? So 1 by d will be integral with respect to x, correct? So now integrate it twice. Firstly, 3x cube y is constant because you are doing it with respect to x by 3, 2x raised to the power 4 by 4, right? So 2, 1, 2, 2 times 2 is this, okay? Thereafter, two integrations are left. So, again, x raised to power 4 by 4, right? One integration is left. x raised to power 5 by 5. 2 is still there, right? Thereafter, x raised to power 5. You are taking integration, you are doing integration with respect to x. So x is to the power 5 by 5. So 5 times 4 is 20. x is to the power 6 by 6. So 6 times 5 is 30 times 2 is 60. So this is your particular integral. Now your complete solution will be complementary factor plus particular integral. Right? So this is how you can solve any of the number, okay, any of the variable having in terms of x and y. I hope you understand this video and if so then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.